I just want to give everybody an update. As Michael Doherty of the Mike Action Group always says, I just want to give you an update. Well, I've been very sick since Monday with COVID, <coughs> which I'm trying to recover from. But I'm still in my bed here, and you'll see my laptop, and you'll see documentation that I'm going through for my investigations into corruption in Donegal County Council. And I'm going to fight this the whole way to the Supreme Court if I have to. I'm going to expose systemic corruption in Donegal County Council and I'm going to expose the corruption in Donegal politics because it should have been exposed in the Morris Tribunal which the Morris Tribunal failed in their attempts to block us from bringing out that political corruption. Now, I have had successfully made complaints that have been now acknowledged and put into what's called protected disclosures under the Protected Disclosures Act 2014. <coughs> and the Minister for Justice, the Minister for State, who's in charge of local government, and the Minister for Housing have all acknowledged and have, have appointed a girl called Annette Keyes to liaise with me on a weekly basis about this systemic corruption in local government. And it's not just systemic corruption in local government, it's corruption in, in political life in Donegal that has been caused for many years and many decades by the political elite in the county. <coughs> now, <coughs> I had a very high temperature last night and, I've, and, I, and my, the fever that I went through, I don't even actually remember yesterday. But I'm still fighting and I'm still writing and I'm still emailing and I'm still looking for justice for the people of this county. And I'm going to get it for everybody that's been affected by this Michael scandal caused by Donegal County Council, not policing an industry that can do what they like. And that is the Concrete Federation of Ireland. And that is the manufacturers in this county and other parts of the country that have caused this scandal to date. Now, I will get justice in the High Court. Because my father's test case is the case that's going to open the road for multiple cases to be taken in the High Court. And we have the evidence to prove that this case is just not about mica. This case is about sulfide minerals, which are ten times worse. They're ten, ten times worse than, than any mica. And his test suite C proves that. And I, I can't wait. To, to get the likes of Joe McHugh and, and Minister for Charity McConnell Logue on the stand to cross-examine them why they have covered up this scandal to date. Now, this enhanced scheme needs to be exposed for what it is, and it's another further attempt to kick the can down the road. And I'm not going to allow this government or Donegal County Council to try and silence me with their unlawful laws that they've created to silence people like me. Now, these attempts were made against my family to silence us when we were fighting guard of corruption and I have travelled this road many times before <coughs> and I will continue to travel this road and I will get better, Covid won't beat me and, and, and the Donegal County Council and their corrupt members that voted to, to, to silence me will not beat me because I will expose this corruption and people can be rest assured of that now, I'm one man and I'm going to prove what one man can do. I've already done it before and I'll do it again. And all I ask is for people to continue to support me on my, on my social media pages. And for people to stand up and speak out about this corruption. Because we the ordinary people are at, at the mercy of the political status quo in this country. And the political status quo is the reason why our homes and our properties and our businesses are all crumbling down around us. Now I'm asking people to support me in this campaign. To, uh, to take this to the courts. Which we are doing with our own money. And my father's case will be the case that will eventually deliver justice to the people of this county. And it's justice or no justice. And that's what people need to realise. That they are trying to stop us getting justice. Justice for something that we didn't create, 
something that we're not to blame for and something that has been caused by by the the lack of proper reg regulations uh proper proper legislation by the legislators and the political parties all joining up to continue that cover-up and the many commentators that have spoken about this publicly have all said that there needs to be a, a, a study a peer review study with peer review literature so that proper recommendations can be made and a proper redress scheme now this scheme is, is a grant scheme and no one knows yet how bad the scheme actually is now the investigations that me and the people helping me have done to date shows that this enhanced scheme is actually 10 times worse than the older scheme so just everybody keep safe hope you don't get covid but you can be rest assured that I am fighting very, very hard. I am writing to as many people as I can in, in political life. I am writing to people that can try and help us. And I, I, am, I am never going to give up in this fight against corruption and systemic corruption in local and national government. And corruption that has been supported by Donegal County Council members that voted to silence me. So, anyway, God bless everybody. And I hope you stay safe from COVID. And I'll give you an update in a few weeks' time how, how I'm getting on. And hopefully I'll recover, fully recover from this COVID. And I th thank everybody for, for their support to date.